everyone. Welcome back to Onboard Tangaroa. Last episode, we had to take Maggie to the vet. Thankfully, everything's fine. Blaine taught me how to distinguish what stainless steel was, and we found a dead eagle, which we gave to the First Nations community to use for ceremonial dress. Hey, everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. It's family day weekend. It's also Blaine's birthday weekend. Yes. So Friday night we went out to the bar. And we went to the pub. We played music bingo. And you'll see video of that. And it was fun. It was great it was fun. Great time. Yep. Blaine had three and a half pints. Yep. And then started puking all night. So this was a bit confusing because we thought that he was hungover. But I was like, it wasn't even four pints. No, it wasn't. It was three and a half, something like that. Like he was vomiting all night. And in the morning. Just yucky. So the didn't next feel day, stellar either. No, you did nothing that day. You just kind of chilled on the couch. Um, well, it's family day and it's Josh's birthday today. So he turns 19. And I went out because I started feeling a little bit yucky. And I went out and got some at-home COVID tests. And guess who got COVID for his birthday? <laughs> he wins! He got COVID for his birthday. So now we are kind of isolating a little bit on the boat. Yes. Trying to do as much as we can. I've kind of been puttering around, but not feeling too shit hot. No idea where I would have got it from. I literally go to work. I come home. And then we went to the pub on Friday, but it happened on Saturday night. So too soon to have picked it up at the pub. Yeah. So no idea where it would have come from. But it's pretty mild. It's just having troubles getting stuff done. I'm supposed to be editing a video today. And I just feel a little bit eh. Um, so I'm just going to go outside and enjoy some sunshine. And Blaine is chilling on the couch watching videos. But yeah, happy birthday, Blaine! Yeah, yeah. COVID! Woo My COVID birthday. Aww. Fantastic. So with COVID going on in the house, I still have to do stuff. Luckily, we are kind of isolating on the boat. It's perfect. Um, so I'm just keeping away chipping at Bondo, and there's a lot of it. So I'm doing the door right now. Let me show you. So I'm doing the inside doorway. This was thick bondo here. You can see all my chips on the floor. And it's actually kind of cool because they come off soft and then they like crumble. So yeah, I'm just hitting it with a heat gun and a scraper and slowly scraping away. COVID on a boat sucks, especially when the wind picks up and it's rolly and we all have colds. It just feels like a cold. We're all immunized, so it's no big thing. Izzy's not going to school today because she's got a scratchy throat. Blaine is still in bed. I just woke up to start the fire, start the Dickinson diesel and get heat and have a cup of tea. And we are seriously rolling, rolling, rolling. We got the waves coming in on our port side. And they're hitting us broadside, which means we are pointing um, perpendicular to the waves. So they're just slamming us and we're rolling. And the wind's supposed to pick up this afternoon. But we have a dilemma. We can go into Todd Inlet um, where it's nice and calm. However, if we go into Todd Inlet, no one gets Wi-Fi. Kids might complain about that. Or we stay on our mooring, we roll and are uncomfortable and we have Wi-Fi. What would you do? Having COVID, okay. having COVID on a boat sucks. Um, again, thank gosh I'm vaccinated because I'm not in the hospital, but it's also the windiest day right now. Um, we kept Josh home from work yesterday. He had today and tomorrow off anyway, so it's probably better. Really, he doesn't have to stay home if he ha shows no symptoms. Izzy's home this morning from school because, <coughs> <coughs> sorry because she uh, has a scratchy throat. Really, it feels like a bad cold. Um, 
I have no troubles breathing or anything like that. It just feels yucky and I'm a bit clogged up here and just achy. Um, Blaine was vomiting all day Saturday. We thought he was hungover. He wasn't hungover. He had COVID. His test came in positive. Um, the only problem with being on a boat is we've got a dog. So when she wakes up, we have to take her to shore. And nobody feels like taking her to shore. I seriously really wish she would just pee on the boat. But she's been in bed all day since like six o'clock yesterday too and I haven't seen her so can dogs get COVID? This might be a really stupid question. I don't know. I think my dog's a bit off too. But um, yeah, that is the story on board Tangrel right now. I'm thinking we should go fly the quarantine flag. Put the yellow flag up. We are quarantined. No one come on board. This rolling sucks so bad that we're out of here. We are dropping mooring and we're going to go into Todd Inlet. I hear it's frozen though, but as okay, we cannot take these um, swells on our side right now. Like we are just moving. And being that we both have COVID, it also sucks. So we're out of here. Lane is starting the engines. Ah, falling. Yeah, right, Lane? A little rolling out here. How are you today. feeling today? Uh, gross, but... Oh, hanging on to everything. Start the engines, let's get the GTFO. Supposedly, supposedly Todd Inland is frozen too, but that's okay because it's not going to have the swells in there, so we are heading into there. So one thing we have to check when uh, we start the engines is water flow. Water flow. So plane just comes over here and we look over the edge, make sure water's coming out. And then he goes and looks on the other side. Plane, do we have water flow? We have water flow. We have water flow. Woohoo! Lots of water flow. <coughs> COVID and roll like fixed <coughs> for a very, very unhappy wife and unhappy wife unhappy life so we are gtfo going into todd look at how much they're rocking like that is not a good time and mike lives on that boat but his tender is gone i think it's down in todd inlet eco rage is just rocking over there like it is not a comfortable way to be right now so we are out of here <laughs> Check out the stem of the boat right now, the part going through the water. It's still black. Wait till you see it after our adventure into Todd Inlet. See, now our bottom pane is blue. That's actually our marker color, which means we just lost two layers of black bottom paint. Oh, so close! Too long. The wind did pick up a little bit and we lost a lid overboard. No. A valiant effort. At least it's not sinking, it's on an ice floe floating away. <laughs> the key's in the tender. This is what we do on a day when we have COVID. We come into town and let, we chill out and we do nothing. Because we feel like, how you feeling, B? Zero motivation to do anything. You got COVID for your birthday. Happy 46th. What do you 
do you think, Maggie? Do you have COVID? I don't think dogs get COVID. She's just like looking at me. I'm trying to do some editing, but really don't feel like it and have no voice to do voiceovers. So, <coughs> and we have no Wi-Fi here in Todd Inlet, which I don't know. I think I'm going to be teaching Izzy how to play cribbage tonight because she's going to get bored. Blaine went, or Blaine, huh? Blaine. Josh. Josh went to shore because, oh, screw it. We're just heading right back out to the moor. Blaine and I, uh, it's not rocking anymore. It's calmed down, but we were just saying that it was a good call to come in to Todd and get out of those swells today because that was just, I don't know how you explain to people your body moving like that all the time, especially when you're feeling crappy <coughs> with COVID. It just wasn't worth it. So we went and had a quiet afternoon in a Todd Inlet, watched the ice, um, and now we are heading back out to the mooring. I've got a couple of videos I have to upload. Um, and yeah, right, Blaine? Take it easy for the afternoon. That's what we did. We took it easy. We did nothing. We did nada. I've done nada in like three days. Yeah, this, yeah, COVID crappy weather, they don't go well together. Can you imagine being on a crossing and getting COVID? That would really suck. Day five of COVID and I have no voice. You should hear my voiceover of the video I put out yesterday. It was really actually kind of funny. Or maybe this is like my 1-900 voice. Hi, honey. How can I help you? Oh, do you want to touch me where? Yeah, no, that's not going to work. But it is chilly out here. Winter has come back. I thought it was gone. And it's snowing again. Or it did snow last night. Okay, I've had enough. This COVID thing has kicked my ass. And I don't think you get any better just sitting on the couch and watching Netflix and doing nothing. So, I got dressed. I put on deodorant. Brushed my teeth. That's a big thing. And now I'm about to... Well, Blaine and I talked. It's time we got the bedroom finished. Like... It's just enough. I need some place that is not a renovation. So we are working on the master stateroom. I'm going to finish this wall um, and work on what um, the gentleman that was working on it didn't finish because we ran out of money. So now it's my time going into it versus money. You know what? You can either pay with things with time or money. When you have no money, you kind of pay with time. So today we're paying with time and we're going to get this if I have energy. It's not that I'm having trouble breathing. I just have no energy and feel lethargic. But yeah, I'm gonna build up the walls and we'll see where we go from there. It's beautiful. Aim the pencil. Don't move it yet. boxes in the wheelhouse. So this is a piece we just cut. Fits nicely there. And this is Blaine's idea for doing this wall. Look at this. So this, they took this board and they I don't know what they used super 5200 maybe it's like 5300 54 50,200 it's 50,200 but they glued it right onto the aluminum which is stupid because it basically got a lot of moisture behind it and rotted the wood so I'm gonna have to go get a heat gun and get this off it's kind of fun you can take out your COVID frustration I just, I'm always doing it, but I just don't quite have all the energy. 
we decided to go full on demolition mode because you know we don't finish any project on this mode. No, well this really need to be done because it's stays it wet and gets moldy. Look at how much wetness is right there. So this is a door that they put in after and it comes up onto our aft deck from the master stateroom. But look, we have a hole right here that goes into the aft locker and a hole right here. Brilliant. Brilliant. And a lot of wetness and mold and smell. It never fails that I hurt myself. Blaine's gone and then I always scrape my knuckles when I'm scraping stuff. Um, I just get too much into it and I can't wear gloves because um, it just hurts my hands more. It's kind of weird. So yeah, band-aid time. Always on a boat. We go through a lot of band-aids on board Tangaroa. <coughs> so someone said, <coughs> I'm still coughing. Someone said vitamin D is good for COVID. <coughs> I think this is the only vitamin D we're gonna get this weekend. Yeah, my six square inch, six square inch, and that. <coughs> it's a bit chilly. The dog's getting a lot of vitamin D though. She's pretty happy. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any better though? Or are I we feel better. <coughs> I'm still coughing. Are I we still, still into COVID and crappy weather? I still have the odd cough, but I, I'm back to feeling good again. <coughs> I'm still coughing, sorry. <coughs> but yeah, we're in for a week of rain. Um, down to what we're gonna do. <coughs> we'll putter around downstairs because we decided that we have to finish at least one project. And I think the master stateroom will be the best one to finish. So we're working on that today. And then we'll work on the bathroom because I'd really like to know where my stuff is. I'm showering in the kids' room. I can't even find my deodorant. I have no clue where anything is on this boat. <coughs> so it'd be nice to have everything in a place where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna work on the bench seat, the walls, the ceiling, and the master stateroom. And then once that's done, we will get to the bathroom or the head, whatever you want to call it. The, uh... Blaine just like went, oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, the configuration that I did for the uh, generator, I uh, forgot to switch the invert the current sensor. Oh. So it's, it's discharging. Huh? Going down because it thinks its current's flowing the other way. Oh. Go fix it. I love when Blaine mentions stuff like that because it is seriously Greek to me. I just go, yep. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Huh, cool. That's right. I had to pause television to listen to this. Yeah, so fantastic um, reading. This guy's got tons of articles and they're all well thought out, really nice. So anyway, this is one particular that, that sang to me. Um, all sang the, to you? Sang to me. All Whoa. the diesels and marine service that I have come in contact with over the past 20 plus years fall into a BSFC range of 0.45 to 0.325. What BSFC is, brake specific fuel consumption. So basically, how much fuel the, the engine burns in relation to how much power it produces. With a little math, one can derive the magic number of 20 horsepower per gallon, that's 0.355, as brake specific fuel consumption that matches a higher average, the amount of horsepower that is produced by a modern four stroke direct injected turbocharged after cooled high speed diesel of a mod modern design. At the far end of the scale, so that's the new engines that we've got going in, are, are those. At the far end of the scale, lousy brake specific fuel consumption, you will find normally aspirated two stroke diesels, whose design characteristics date back to pre World War II, with many being mechanically supercharged, although called NAs, and a few NA indirect injection four stroke diesels, which are not nearly as old. Which are the engines that we currently have on board right now, or the two stroke so World War II dated. Give me a synopsis here. What does this mean? What this means is that we are going from the worst possible brake specific fuel consumption on the old engines to the best possible brake specific fuel consumption on the new engines. Which so this means, is good. Which means we'll be burning less fuel for the same oh. amount of output. Perfect. That's it. Nice. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this video, check out our Patreon page. There's lots of good stuff on there, including the Tangaroa Tales podcast. See you on the inside. Also, hit that bell button because when you do that, you will not miss an episode.